Hello, everyone. Um, yeah, can you hear me? Okay, thanks, because I see some lagging. So, welcome to this new session. Uh, today we introduce a new uh, extension for Todd. Um, so, we wanted to provide our services uh, also to JupyterLab, and therefore we started to work on a new extension called uh, JupyterLab Requirements. Uh, let me share the screen. If I, yes. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, okay. So this is the new um, project we started in uh, Thought, and it's called Jupyter Lab Requirements. And uh, it, it's going to provide uh, basically a similar um, service that we had for Jupyter Notebooks, but this time it's going to be on the Jupyter Lab. And so if you have a look at the first uh, uh, thing that uh, we changed, um, if you have a look at Jupyter Lab, in general, there are different types of uh, extension that can be created. You can have extension that are part of the main uh, um, window. So, for example, you can have something called Tot here. You can have uh, other extension that appear in the uh, menu or as a external panel, but what we wanted to provide is uh, uh, something that is uh, inside the notebooks itself. So when you open a new notebook, there's going to be some new button. Uh, currently it's just, uh, um, I mean, it's a button, but uh, we don't have an icon yet. Uh, but the idea is that uh, from this uh, specific uh, button, you can uh, open a, a window and uh, see um, what packages you want to install and uh, what are already installed. And what it will do basically is uh, um, checking if there are any requirements stored in the metadata of the notebook. And uh, if not, you can install new one. And once the new um, um, sorry uh, requirements are installed, they are going to be stored on the notebook metadata. And when we, when we talk about um, um, new uh, metadata stored, we talk about uh, requirements, so um, the package and the version that you want to have, and the pin down software stack in the requirement uh, lock. So there you have uh, all the um, dependencies pinned down um, for all the packages, for the, the, the direct dependencies and for the transitive dependencies. And uh, we're going to provide uh, the possibility to install uh, uh, these dependencies uh, with different tools. And Tot is going to be also involved as a resolution engine. And in that case, when you install these dependencies, um, there will be also stored the uh, configuration file uh, inside the notebook as well, because that would be part of the advice itself. So it will be stored there. So, um, as a simple example, um, here we have a um, um, pip file. As you can see, there are only two um, dependencies requested. And uh, in this case, uh, as we still uh, not have a UI to interact with the extension, what we focus on in this first part is on the backend part. So um, all the endpoints that are required to extend the uh, JupyterLab, and all these endpoints allow to uh, interact with these uh, dependencies, basically with all these files that are stored, um, and the dependencies that are also inside the, um, the notebook metadata. So in this case, if we just have a look at uh, what is happening on the background, when you launch the um, the button. In this case, there is no possibility to interact with it because uh, we are going to work actually in the next uh, step. But the backend part is already created, and what it will do basically is uh, looking for any requirements that are stored uh, on the metadata. And as you see, actually right now there is nothing uh, stored there. 
So what it's doing right now is just pulling the uh, dependencies that are provided uh, on uh, the disk. And once basically uh, asking the advice to TOT, it will uh, generate this pip file, pip file lock. And as you see, actually, uh, the advice was already received. And uh, the notebook has been uh, synced with all the dependencies that comes from uh, actually the advice. So in this case, you have you see that there has been added the, the requirements, the requirements lock. And if you go to the bottom, there will be also the dot configuration file. So in this way, we guarantee that uh, the notebook will contain all the information required to the dependencies. And uh, if you want to share this notebook, uh, basically you have uh, everything that is uh, required for someone else to rerun it and see what is uh, what has been used with the, from the dependency point of view. And with that, uh, I think I finish. So if you have any question, uh, please uh, ask. So the dependencies are embedded in the notebook, and if there is no dependencies but a pip file on disk in the same directory, um, they will be used. And in any way, we're going to ask the Toth uh, service to provide a lock, lockdown, a pin down dependency tree, and that will be included, embedded in the metadata of the notebook itself again. Correct? Yes, because when we ask for an advice. Um, I mean, we use the configuration file, so it's correct to have also this information provided in the metadata. And okay. in general, uh, um, so it might happen that uh, you have the notebook, but you don't have that pip file, pip file lock. So the idea would be also to have some way to extract this. So if, imagine if you are interested in, in, on extracting them, we will also provide a way to extract them. And in case the one that is provided inside the notebook and the one that is uh, uh, on the disk is different, we would uh, warn the user, and in that case, uh, we would uh, ask him if he want to pin down again respect to the one that is provided here or, mm -hmm. or the one that is uh, saved, yes. And the install button, will we have an install button to, the, to install all the dependencies? So, yes, the idea of the UI would be to have uh, basically agreed with the packages as we had with the Jupyter uh, uh, notebook extension and in that case there will be an install button and probably we will add some more features related to the uh, tot configuration itself so if you want to receive an advice uh, for a certain recommendation if it's not performance or latest or we will al will allow the user also to do this uh, directly from the from the ui ah, cool that's good any other questions Thanks. for Francesco? Thanks, Francesco. Thank you.